Yo guys, what is up? Max No Waterlands video, and today we're going over Grease Blightning. Now, this is a Clawbringer Capstone Blight Collar build that is, I'm gonna say, one of my more creative and like abstract builds. Uh, it's really weird, but works really well. Uh, this build makes you pretty much unkillable. I do all of the elite chaos chambers without going down. It is not the highest boss damage or fastest boss melting build, uh, but it does make you kind of an immortal lightning god uh, that is constantly hitting enemies with tons of lightning damage. It uses some really weird mechanics to uh, actually be able to do all the content. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. So we're just going to start out with like a bit of a boss kill showcase to show you guys what to do. I'm going to try to shoot this guy with my shotgun to apply soaked. Shotguns soaked definitely applied. Uh, we'll chuck our hammer. Uh, the hammer got the mosquito on the way back. Uh, this build has a potential to do some pretty crazy damage. It does not happen like every time. It's not even close. Um, but okay, so let's explain how this build works now. This build is formed around this class mod, and particularly the plus three into Amped Up. Uh, note that this class mod is pretty terribly rolled. I really, that gun damage does not benefit me at all. I'd much prefer spell damage or melee damage. I'll explain that in a second. But this is a chaotic mosquito mantle. We've got the mosquito mantle part on it, which is going to give us the chance to basically double dip any of our... Uh, things that can crit, aka the hammer, so we can double dip the hammer throw, uh, but we're really focusing on Amped Up. Amped Up reads, whenever the Fate Maker applies a lightning status effect, we get more movement speed and an increased percentage of our ward capacity is restored per second for a duration. Now, I got this class mod to drop for me, um, and I really wanted to make a shield build because uh, I basically every build in Wonderlands is like, hey, you have zero survivability and you just need to get hit and your cursed wit goes down and then you do all your damage, but everything is not very survivable. This build has... It, it basically makes you an unkillable lightning god. Um, you do not go down because we're, we've got so many points into amped up. We're going to constantly be applying lightning status effects, which not only with this are, is going to give us like over 70% movement speed constantly, but we're also constantly be going to be getting our shield back. And we're pairing that with Flawless Edge, which is going to give us more damage while our shield is up. And we've got Wraith Mail, which is going to give us Ward Capacity whenever we kill things. So with this, with our constant lightning effects from uh, also our Oath of Thunder, Oath of Thunder is going to give our melees bonus lightning damage. And we are using the Stabomatic. The Stabomatic will constantly be giving us, think of this almost as like... Uh, it, it, every time you shoot this, you're going to get shield back, basically. Um, so we're constantly shooting the Stabomatic, which is going to be constantly dealing lightning damage because of our skill tree, which is constantly going to be giving us amped up, which is going to be giving us movement speed and our shield back. And the Stabomatic only does melee damage. It only benefits from melee damage. Gun damage increases will not increase the damage of the Stabomatic. The Stabomatic does not work with skills like Oath of Thunder, or sorry, Oath of Fire, because it's gun damage, which we're not dealing. However, it can benefit from weapon damage increases which are different this is the shield that we're using on this build the full battery which works perfectly with this while your ward is full taking damage strikes a nearby enemy with a lightning bolt our ward is going to be constantly full this lightning bolt can crit proc mosquito i've seen this lightning bolt hit for easily a million damage just running around randomly with enemies killing themselves while we're running around but when our ward is full, if we shoot, we're going to drain it for 40% weapon damage. We're constantly basically amping the shots of our Stabomatic to increase the damage that it's going to be doing. Next up, we're pairing the Stabomatic with the Spellblade. I also apologize that my icons aren't showing on my gear. That's like, I can't believe that's still a glitch like six months out after launch. Um, but this Spellblade is one of the unique melee weapons that actually works with the Stabomatic. This is going to allow us to benefit from both spell damage increases and melee damage increases on our weapon. So every spell damage increase that we get will also increase the damage of the Stabomatic's melee damage shots. It's still dealing melee damage, it's not dealing spell damage, but it will benefit from spell damage increases. And on top of that, we're pairing the enchant on the spell blade after getting a melee kill, refresh one spell charge. Every time that we shoot with the Stabomatic, we kill an enemy, we're going to get a spell charge back, 
which uh, there's two enchants that you can use for that. I really like this enchant because it's going to give us 100% upkeep on our Buffmeister. Yes, this build is using a Buffmeister and we're using it with Zap and Bonk. Both Zap is going to give us 80% spell damage increase, I think. Uh, it might be higher on a Primordial. Um, and at least 80% melee damage with Bonk. Meaning that we're sitting on 160% increased damage just by popping this Buffmeister and we're keeping it active all the time. Uh, and that'll also give us, both of those will benefit our Stabomatic because we've got a Spellblade on and we're constantly going to be feeding ourselves Buffmeisters. On top of that, the Buffmeister gives us 60% move speed at base. So we've got 60% move speed on top of our already like uh 70 70 plus percent i'm not doing quick math right now um amped up move speed so we're we're just getting you're flying around you are flying around hitting enemies with lightning damage all the time you can't be killed your ward is constantly going to be restored and we are using a poison buff meister poison buff meister is very important uh this is probably the most gear specific setup uh with this poison buff meister being super important uh for this build because when you're using a poison buff meister it allows us to proc bog down now all of our shots on our stabomatic can turn into debuffing for us and all of our shots are going to be dealing lightning damage so we are debuffing and buffing ourselves up just by shooting our our stabomatic for our damage sources that's what partly makes this build so unique uh is you're constantly going to be debuffing things but also dealing increased damage to them and when things are constantly soaked our full battery lightning like chains will hit them harder and our storm dragon judgment our action skill when they're soaked will also hit them harder um next up we're pairing that with spell damage rings spell damage rings the spell damage flat spell damage increases will increase the damage of our melee our stabomatic uh they will increase our damage of our storm dragon judgment that's also really cool the storm dragon judgment will actually benefit from the spell blade so not only is our stabomatic getting the increases from our spell and melee damage but the buff meister and all of these spell damage and melee damage increases will also benefit storm dragon judgments because we're wearing a spell blade um and because we're using melee as our primary source of damage instead of guns melee can get really good critical hit chance uh, i only have one roll of melee critical hit chance here i'd prefer to have uh, a naturally better ring i might actually have one on me um but you're gonna want to look for melee critical hit chance uh, on your rings with spell damage as your flat i actually could do a lot better here uh with my rings but the reason for that is because if we go to our critical hit chance, I have a 38.3% melee critical hit chance right now. It's so much easier to spec melee crit chance than it is for guns because um, they just they do better. And each one of our pellets from the Stabomatic is a crit or sorry, not a crit, a melee attack, meaning each one will roll that chance. I've got a times seven. I, I don't have a times 14. Uh, I'd love to try one with this, but all of our critical hits have a chance to more than double in damage with the mosquito mantle so we're getting very good melee chance i'd love to get more um but basically all of the shots from this have a chance to just double in damage um and so basically the synopsis of this build is you run around with the stabomatic at over 100 percent movement speed constantly critting doubling all of our damage our hammer can double dip in damage our lightning attacks get double dip in damage um and we're lastly repairing this with a universal soldier uh, mine has gun damage blight color power i think i'd honestly prefer clawbringer power on this uh both are good the blight color power will give you more whisper of rot elemental damage increases but if you get a clawbringer power one it'll give you more damage with storm smite and blastman's favor which is really really nice uh, and storm dragon's judgment so i think i'd probably prefer clawbringer power here honestly um, but whenever we, we deal melee damage, we're using the Universal Soldier, whenever we deal melee damage, you have a 30% chance to instantly reload 100% of your guns currently equipped ammo. That rolls, that 30% rolls on all of the pellets, so we never have to reload the Stabomatic. Um, and that's uh, the build, really. Um, you just fly around shooting things, dealing lightning damage everywhere, and you can't die. <laughs> For our skill tree, we're rocking Oath of Thunder, bonus lightning damage on all of our shots. We've got one point into Rebuke so that whenever an enemy hits us, they get reflected lightning ability damage, which is just another way to get amped up, which will constantly be procced on enemies. 
our ward is basically always going to be full. So regardless if you're using hammer or you want to mess around with bog totems or plague storm, because once again, you do not need to use storm dragon judgment with this. Uh, if you want to mess around with like lightning totems uh, or, or frost totems or whatever you want, uh, this build is pretty flexible, but you're going to be getting a ton of cooldown to use whatever abilities you want with this. Um, then we've got dragon aura, more elemental damage and radiance for more ward capacity. I grabbed Firebolt. This is gun damage, which does not benefit us at all. However, uh, we don't have a ton of ways to deal fire damage. So this doing fire damage is going to be able to keep up our awe. And so is Storm Smite will also give us fire ability damage, which they recently fixed. So now we can easily get awe uh, by just specking into some of these skills instead of actually having to deal fire damage ourselves. And that fire damage is going to give us more critical hit damage and we're going to be critting a whole bunch. Uh, if we ever do go down, we get Indomitable, which is, makes us even more unkillable, plus gives us bonus lightning damage and Storm Breath gives us uh, more damage reduction. In the Blight Collar Tree, uh, the absolute must-have points here are 3 out of 3 Wraith Mail for more Ward Restore, 5 out of 5 Flawless Edge for more damage dealt, and 3 out of 3 or 6 out of 3 if you can get a class mod for it, into Amped Up for the movement speed and the Ward Restore. And lastly, it's an absolute necessity to have Bogged Down for 50% more damage with our Lightning and Frost damage. Now, these 6 points here, you could kind of spend wherever you'd like. I ended up with Virulence just because our buffs last as long as our status effect durations, and so more duration on here means more uptimes on our Amped Up buff. Um, but you could, if you wanted to, put two points here and put some more points into poison damage with your buff meister or put more points into fire rate to just spam your stab matic as much as possible. There's not really any wrong answer with these things. Uh, you could spec them how you like, but these points right here are absolute must-haves. And lastly, for our hero points, respect into crit damage and crit chance. Crit chance isn't really necessary if you've got some more crit chance melee rings. Uh, but remember that we are using the Mosquito, so we're just going to be doing so much more damage when we can crit. Um, we don't need spell cooldown because we've got 100% uptime on our spell cooldown. Uh, and we don't need skill cooldown because we're getting a ton of skill cooldown already. Status damage is not something we're really focusing on. So I put the rest of the points into max HP and ward. Note, if you wanted to take some points out of crit chance here and get even more max HP and ward here, you definitely could. Uh, and yeah, guys, that is it for the build. This is a very unique build, um, a little bit off meta from what's like usually super strong in Wonderlands, but I've been having a blast on it and I hope you guys enjoy the build as well. I will catch y'all on the next one, guys. Take care. Peace.